Mike's here, and welcome back to the Bjorklington Review. And this time we're going to be looking at this. It's the Hornby R4972 SR BR, well it's BRSR Restaurant Buffet Coach number S1765. So I'm going to take this over to the desk and open it up and have a look. So, yay, we're back, and it's another buffet coach for my collection. Yes, welcome back to the desk and welcome to another Bjorklington review. And I know it's been a while, uh, but we're here with the Buffet Restaurant Car S1765. So it's the R4972. And this, I think I got it for £23, something like that, on Hattons. They had a, an offer on because this model has been out for two years now, I think. Uh, but basically, yeah, it was on offer and I got it months ago and... I've been waiting to do the review before I got it out because obviously I want to unbox it properly. Um, but summer's busy, I'm working all the time. I try and get videos out when I can. So I finally got around to having time to open up the restaurant buffet car. So it's the R4972. And if we turn it around, there is a label somewhere. And we can see that we have <laughs> the Hornby logo. There we go. 4972 BR Mark 1 Restaurant Buffet Coach S. One seven six five. So, I do have a rake of trying Hornby SR coaches that I'm going to run this with, and it will completely outshine them. So, we're going to get this out now and see what it's like. So, the restaurant buffet cars, the first three were built in, I think, 1957. Um, I remember when these came out in, like, was it 2020? They did a video on Hattons about this they they gave a bit of a background on it, but so that was 1957 when the three prototypes came out of the Mark I uh, Buffalo restaurant car, and then they did another 128, or were the three part of the 128? I'm not sure. But either way, there were at least 128 built between 1960 and 1962 for the longer trains that you might have where you need some food, I guess. Oh, it stiff to get that open. Um... You know, cross-country trains, expresses, um, anywhere where you might need food on a long journey. Uh, and basically, before, and I'll just make sure this is in focus. Before, you had dining cars by the Big Four. And after the Second World War and going into BR, they kept the old buffet cars or restaurant cars. But, you know, times were changing. You went into the 50s. You know, people weren't necessarily spending more on... The food on their journeys that might not have been going quite so far. But either way, people weren't really going to sit down for a three-course meal in a restaurant coach if they could afford it. They wanted something a bit lighter, I suppose. And so, you know, that's the old British Railway sandwich probably served on some of these. And so BR came up with its own sort of restaurant buffet coaches. And... You know, I'll turn it around so you can see the other side. These lasted from the 1960s until, uh, even in, in late BR liveries, until the mid-90s. And, presumably, Preserve Railways in the UK have some of these for using catering on their own railways as well. So, um, you could, technically, I mean, if you ignore the number, because I, mean, I have tried Googling it, but I can't find uh, definitive uh, information about this particular coach. But you could use this if you had a Preserved Railway set in the modern era you could use this on that or you could use it on your uh srbr 50s 60s railway probably be quite good so the lettering on this is nice and clear and bright it doesn't look so great here i mean the coach is almost camouflaged into my cutting net but i'll hold it up here and you can see and i will change the focus but here we are it says buffet restaurant car and it's just you know it's perfectly clear there's flush glazing as well as you can see. There's this kitchen, which is quite cool because normally, you know, on the extra doors and things, you'd say like, oh, it's a guard or whatever. But now we get kitchen. You can see there's an uh, emergency lighting point. And then you've got kitchen again. It's a nice change. And I do like buffet cars. I think they're just such an interesting uh, item of rolling stock to have in a train because, you know, people need food. And I work in the kitchen. So you've got blanked out windows there, that's where the kitchen is, and you've got extra roof vents there, 
and less windows on this side obviously this must be where all the appliances are there's vents here uh, i'll try and hold those up and i i will show you them there there are the vents um they're modeled into the body and it's painted but it's quite cool that they've been included and directly below the windows evidently as the actual um prototype is um you can see that when i refocus it again sorry i have to because i keep moving it um there are extra tanks and extra boxes there's a lot more detail here than under sort of like a normal mark one coach as you can see there's made in china hornby there's the certificate mark there and commonwealth bogies with disc wheels with the three holes so that's the underside at least covered and you might be able to see inside the tables are brown and at some point you could try and fit passengers in there but i don't think i could even get engaged passengers to fit well between the chairs and the tables i just don't think there's enough space in there um i think that's that's possibly an issue with scale modeling but you never know i've got some cheap chinese aliexpress slash wish passengers i might be able to trim them down quite a lot although they are a hard plastic and see if i can get this coach kind of populated with people um maybe when i do that i will open it up and have a look and see if there is a kitchen modeled inside um i don't want to do that right now because i don't want to break it before i've had a chance to run it um but other than that like i said the livery is wonderfully applied uh, the detail is very visible the writing is very nice the colors are very good um you know it's just it's it's a very neat piece there's no kinematic couplings on it it's got nice nem pockets in its commonwealth bogies uh they're bogies that look to be the type that can pop in and out um so yeah it's it's really nice and i've never had a uh modern spec southern railways or or, or srbr um mark one i've had mournsel coaches and i had the mournsel buffet or restaurant car or whatever it was uh but i've never had a br restaurant car from the modern era so it looks very very nice and i'll just grab i think i have some sort of restaurant coach in my drawer i'll just grab that now for comparison so this is not a comparison between um necessarily an exact thing it's just a build quality comparison so this is a hornby item built in britain from probably the late 60s so when this was in use and it's probably the earliest style of buffet coach so this is this is what it looks like and as you can see it's very cheap it's very plasticky it does have details of like i don't know cups and plates on the tables um and you can see that the top there so it's it's a different type of coach but the standard obviously was very different way back when but you know i like restaurant cars and i still use that maroon one as well but i'm looking very forward to using this particular coach on my railway although the coaches i'm going to be running it with are like the coach that i just showed you so uh we'll go over to the railway now and see how it rolls now, just a quick moment before I do the Bjorglinton shove. Um, there's also a little detail pack here, which contains these little couplings that go and attach into a little hole in the end of the coach. You can see it there with the light shining through it, but my camera is finding it hard to focus on it. <laughs> so, yeah, it fits and you can see through the hole there. You can see the lights. Anyways, yeah, so basically, you can fit those if you want to. There you go, you can kind of see it a bit better there. Um, but I haven't fitted them. I might fit them at a later date, but uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't done that. But you do get that. That's the additional detail that you get. And in this shot as well, because I didn't mention it before, you also have the C1 mark on the end of the coach. Right, but a uh, shove off. Yes, now the buffet restaurant car is on Bjorglington on Sea, the layout. And we've got it here, and this would normally be our free rolling test section until someone pointed out that it, I mean, before I was told I was throwing things around, but this person actually pointed out it's not really free rolling if you, you know, give it a push. So we've renamed this section the Bjoglington Shove, and we'll give it a Bjoglington Shove around the layout and see how well it rolls around after I've given it a bit of momentum. So I'm going to give it a push and see. Now it's not, it's not really light like the NCB brake van. It's not especially heavy as well. 
So I'm not going to put a huge amount of force on it because I don't want it just like to derail instantly. So I'll go one, two, three, and. Right, well, it makes it all the way around on the third radius, anyways, um, around at least half of the railway. So we're going to try it again on second radius, and it should be fine because, you know, it's pretty much the same as third, but. There we go. That was another very smooth run, and I'm not even going to bother on, on first radius giving it much of a shot at all. I'm just going to show that obviously it can go around first radius because it's on bogeys, but yeah. No, it's it's very smooth, it's very free. It's got proper metal axles in well-developed bogeys. Though I don't know what I'm doing there. Anymore. Oh, it doesn't like, it doesn't like the, the end wall of... That's interesting. It doesn't like the end wall of the um the pub. Just let me check now. I just double check that this isn't isn't a, a thing. Because I don't often run that many mark ones on my inside line. I had a problem before. No? Hmm. Well it must just be uh Oh, I can't see an issue. I think it's just the tightness. It doesn't like the way my wall is for the clearances. But that, you know, I'm not really running mark ones that much on it, but it's actually trying to take the capstone off. So note to self, glue the capstone now more. Um, don't don't worry about that. That's not a, it's not a quality issue. That's a layout issue. Um, so yes. I would say that's a pass of the juggling to shove. I suppose I should give it a bit of a shunt test anyways over the points. Right, so we have the Rustin 48DS here ready to couple up because he wants the Enium couplings to couple up nice and neatly. So, there we go. And we go along. So I'm expecting perfect performance because I can't see any reason why this should be very at all. I know this is a terrible point, but it should work perfectly. So that was no issue at all. Now I'm going to try and couple it up to this coach here, which is a repainted prime horn beat mark one with tension mark couplers, as it would be used in a rake with older coaches because they don't have any newer ones. There you go, coupled first time. Uh, it's getting stuck on the inside of my tunnel. That's a clearance issue, not a coach issue. So, let's get back into the siding now. And there should be no issue at all going between there. Nope. Even being as closely coupled to that when it's being pushed, no issues at all. So I said it's a pass for the points test, except for the fact that uh, it can't get through my tunnel because there's too much um, card too close to the rails. Uh, but now we can go and run it behind a train, I suppose. <clears throat> right, well, I've assembled a train now, and the Formby Merton is going to be pulling the train, being a southern area locomotive. And then we have the restaurant coach itself in a train with two of the Triumph Formby Mark 1s in a matching SR Green livery. Uh, with the first class ends to the restaurant buffet car or the buffet restaurant car. And then there is the full brake that I used earlier on. So it's a, a nice four coach train. And it really just show how dated the earlier models are uh, against the new ones. But, you know, when it's in a moving train, it's not that bad. I mean, you can tell by the finish, definitely, that they are different. But I think as an addition to a train. It's rather nice. And so I now have another buffet service running out of Gilmore to Um You know, a long distance train perhaps maybe for passengers travelling from north to south. Um, so yeah, it's another nice uh, fun thing to add to the railway. So I'll get a bit of footage of that running around.
So yes, that was the Hornby R4972 BR SR Restaurant Buffet Coach. So that's the S1765 is this number. There was another number available as well. Um, I got it from Hatton's. I think I forgot to mention that uh, when I said it was on sale. Uh, but yes, I got it on Hatton's for just over £20. And, you know, how would I rate the model? Very highly. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a lovely colour. Uh, would I buy another one? Perhaps in a different livery. Uh, if I had a different rake, uh, they do a more modern version, so that would be the RBR, uh, which would be the Restaurant Buffet refurbished, which would be the later, I think, the Intercity uh, black, white, and red. Is it the, the like kind of smaller livery? So that would be like if you had a later uh, BR period for the line from Liverpool Street uh, to Norwich or something like that, maybe. Uh, but yeah, am I happy with it? Yes. Would I buy another one? Yes, if I had the money, if it was a good deal, yeah, probably, uh, because I love buffet coaches. And who knows, maybe I'll buy another buffet coach in future. Might not be the same kind, but, uh, you know, maybe at Christmas I'll assemble a train of buffet coaches for some sort of special train, a mince pie special. Uh, but, yeah, am I happy with it? Yes. Has Hornby done a good job? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm not an expert on BR Mark 1s, uh, and I won't pretend to be, but I think it looks really good. Um... So yeah, very happy with that. Uh, well, I suppose I must get on more Beyond on Sea to film and more of my Engage project. And of course, the Christmas special is coming up. So thank you once again for joining me for the Beyond review. And uh, I hope you have had a good look at the restaurant buffet car and decided whether you want one or not. If you see one come up on a deal, eBay even, uh, because as far as models go, it's a nice, interesting, interesting model. Um, I think it's quite cool. Whew, it's cold in here. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching the Beyond the Interim Review. You've been a wonderful audience, and I've been a wonderful Alex. So yes, until next time, goodbye. Oh, and don't forget, there's also the subscribe bubble and the playlist thing. But uh, yeah, stay warm, stay safe. I'm off for a hot chocolate. <sighs>